Hey guys, EBP Man here, and Happy New Year. This is the first review of the year, and I wanted to share with you the pilot. It's a translating earpiece by Waverly Labs. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, over the last couple of years, people have been really trying to solve uh, translating speech from one language to the other. Uh, we saw that last year with Google Translate. We also saw that with their earbuds uh, that they have uh, that links that Google Translate technology to conversations so that you can hear what the person's speaking to you in one language in your native language. And with a combination of the phone, you can uh, respond to that person. The problem is, is that they're really not well implemented and it's not as natural as you'd like. Also, Braggy Dash in the Dash Pro launched a partnership with iTranslate to kind of solve the same problem. So you have lots of technologies out there that are trying to solve uh, translation, going from one language to the other. So the question is, did the pilot get it right? Did they improve that experience, make it more natural, so that you can have a conversation with someone in one language and respond to them in another? Let's go ahead and check that out. Now this earpiece does feature something that the other providers that I had mentioned have not solved, and that is group multi-language conversations. So that means that you can have a conversation with more than one person and have the translation take place. You, all, you do have a battery life of four hours. It does have uh, two mics per earbud, and that's to help with the uh, translation that needs to take place. It does support high quality music streaming. So it not only will it do translating, but it's also could be used just for listening to music. I want to talk about the overall experience and what the quality of that was. And more importantly, you know, what we use our earbuds mostly for is for taking phone calls. So you do have phone call capabilities as well as noise cancellation capabilities as you're having those conversations. So let's do an unboxing, see what the product looks like, and then we'll talk about how these features actually work in the real world. Now inside the box, you're gonna find uh, your earpieces with a docking station, a carrying case that also has a battery to charge your earpieces, a micro USB charging cable, some user guide information and client satisfaction information with um, two additional earpieces taking you from small to medium to large ear gels. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the earpieces with the travel case which is a charger as well. So you're going to get four full charges, three to four full charges out of this. So I'm going to push this button here and you can see uh, where my battery level is. It's going to take anywhere from an hour an hour and a half all the way up to possibly even two hours uh, to charge them fully depending on your usage. So it's really important that you think about carrying these with you wherever you go. The case that is. So I wouldn't take these uh, earpieces and just put them in your pocket and go. I would take the travel case with you with the earpieces inside of them, that way they're always fully charged. You're going to get uh, three to full charges on this, so that's three to four, and the battery life is close to four hours. Now, it's going to be mixed based on your usage, depending on if you're listening to audio, if you're um, doing translation, or if you're taking phone calls. But having uh, the four-hour battery life and then also having this charging case is a great, I would say, experience when it comes to overall usability from a battery life perspective. Now the earpieces themselves have a single button and this single button is going to be used for powering up the earpiece, going into pairing mode as well as answering and skipping forward when it comes to calls. The earpieces do uh, not turn on when you take them off or out of the cradle, which is nice, but I would not recommend, as I said earlier, just taking the earpieces by themselves without the charging base. Now, for those of you who um, are interested in how deep this piece here goes into your ear, it goes pretty far in and it provides, I would say, not much passive noise isolation because of this ear gel. If you go with one of the larger ones that we showed right here, like one of these, you're going to get more passive noise isolation. Uh, but I do get a lot of feedback that some of you are concerned about these getting stuck in your ear. And um, I haven't had that experience yet uh, with these, but it does go pretty far deep and these smaller ones don't provide a lot of noise isolation. So um, they're comfortable to wear, uh, but again, you'll have to be comfortable with having something like this going in your ear. So now let's talk about audio. From an audio, I typically look at the any kind of um, audio headphone or earpiece like this, and I look at how do they perform from a bass, from a mids, and a high. And I, I gauge my experience based on that. And you'll hear me say it's either bass heavy or not, mid heavy or not, or favors high. These favor mid to high. Bass is present but not that much at all. And it's, it's so low that I would say it's really a mid and a high 
uh, type of earpiece. So if you're looking for bass heavy music, these are not the earbuds for you from a music perspective. Now from a loudness, let's talk about loudness. These are loud. They are so loud that they can be painfully loud. And because of the earpiece that you wear, depending if you have the uh, larger one or the smaller one in, there could be um, leakage. So you'll someone next to you could hear what you're listening to, the music that you're listening to, depending on the gel that you're using and how firm or I would say how much of a seal you have. But they can get very loud to the point where it actually hurts. So that's great that they get really loud because I do review earbuds or earpieces like this that really don't have a lot of volume range. And these definitely have it, but it lacks the bass. So, all right. So good volume, poor bass, mids and highs is what you're going to get out of these. So now let's talk about comfort. Uh, Stress-free, not much fatigue, wearing them can, uh, for a long period of time, uh, no real issues, but that's going to vary from person to person. They're lightweight, so that helps with the fatigue. Uh, they do have an IPX rating, which means that uh, you should be able to wear them in the gym. I have. Uh, had no problems running with them, had no problems uh, doing some uh, cardio with them. Uh, and also when I was doing uh, some bench presses and weights, I had no problems except once or twice, uh, depending on the kind of seal I had, one of them would just fall out of my ear when I'm just laying on the bench, you know, doing my bench presses. So overall experience has been great. And also when it comes to the Bluetooth range, had no problems where my phone was. So it, the connection didn't break really easily. And I was able to walk away from my phone if I had it in, let's say, my towel or my gym bag as I was working out. So no problems there either. So good connectivity good fit and feel, and again, uh, you could use them for working out. They are not waterproof to the point where I would take them into the shower or go swimming with them. So now let's talk about um, audio translation and how it works. First of all, in order for the audio translation to work, you'd have to give the person who you are wanting to speak to in their language an earpiece. And you could define which one it's going to be. It's either going to be the left one or the right one. So you'd give them the earpiece. You would put that earpiece into pairing mode and then they would basically download the pilot application so that they could um, have this paired to their phone plus the pilot application. You having uh, the, the starter of the conversation would choose start conversation. You would determine if you have one person or multiple people that you're going to have a conversation with. And then what you would do is you would determine uh, what the language also is for that person. So in this case, what I'm going to do is my guest name, I'm just going to put test so you can see how that works. And then I'm going to choose the language. Now, I uh, speak Spanish fluently. I uh, don't have any other language skills, so I'm just going to choose that, Spanish United States. And then I'm going to hit continue. Now, the person who you're having the conversation with is going to have to download and install the pilot app. They install it on their phone and they pair, you put this in pairing mode, they pair it to their phone and then what they do is they'll go ahead and join the conversation. So I'm going to hit continue and you notice that you have this QR code. I'm going to say join the conversation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that QR code so that the conversation will start. So now there's kind of, uh, there's been a sync process that's taken place. So I have my language which is English their language which is Spanish right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start the conversation and see how it works now as soon as you start the conversation both phones are gonna be in listening mode so they're gonna it's gonna be listening for the conversation of this person who you're speaking to and then uh, the translation um, also is gonna take place so I've muted both of them just so we can see how it works so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unmute my phone and then speak in English and then you'll see on this phone the translation in Spanish Hello, how are you? Now you'll notice over here, okay, you'll notice over here that we now have hola como estas. I said, hello, how are you? That's an accurate translation. And what I heard was in the earpiece that I'm wearing, um, the Spanish translation of what I just said in English. Right? And I have it muted right now. Let's try responding in Spanish and see how it translates to English now. Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? So I just muted it, just so I can have this, this uh, just review. And you'll notice that it says, I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? And that's actually an accurate translation, too. So pretty surprising how well it does a translation. And again, what I spoke in Spanish, my earpiece, the right earpiece that I have in my ear, um, actually 
spoke to me back in the English language. So speaking in Spanish translated pretty quickly into English and then vice versa, it's doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and try another phrase or try another conversation point to see how it translates. We'll go ahead and try it in Spanish. Actually, we'll do it in English. Can you direct me to the nearest bar? Now notice over here, it says, I asked it, can you direct me to the nearest bar? Over here it says, puedes dirigirme al bar más sectano. Uh, that's accurate. Now there is a little Spanglish going on here because you can see bar is um, both in English on both sides. But that's pretty common when you're speaking a second language where some of the terms or the words are, remain the same. So pretty accurate again. Let's try it one more time. El bar está a cuatro cuadras a la esquina. All right, so we'll go ahead and mute that. So I basically told it that it's four blocks away to the, to the from the corner. Good translation as well. So how does this translation experience compare to Google Translate? With the earbuds, it works pretty well. I've tried this in English. I've also tried this in some of the supported languages, which I'll show you again so you can see the full list of languages. And as I've tried this with certain with friends that speak those other languages, they've been actually very surprised on how accurate it has been. So now if you're curious uh, to the languages that are supported, you'll notice that there's a full list of languages. You have Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Greek, Turkish, and Polish. I'm sure other languages will be available uh, rather shortly. And if you notice that the, you have this little carrot sign here um, or arrow, that's leading into specific um, country or regional dialects. So as we chose Spanish, you notice that I had several types of Spanish. I had Argentina, uh, Bolivia, Chile, etc. So I was able to choose um, a specific Spanish that would suit the style of Spanish that I was going to be speaking. So again, gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to that audio translation. So now the question is, how useful is it and is it as natural as it would be if you were translating it yourself? So now let's talk about practicality. I don't like the fact that I have to install an app on the phone of the person who I want to have a conversation with um, in that second language. Uh, when I saw the video, it seemed to lend you to believe that everything was happening on the host phone, that there was no need to have two apps, just one. The second piece, um, having to pair the the actual earbud that you're giving the person to the phone, I think is also a little intrusive uh, and it didn't seem that that was required. So downloading an app and then pairing your earbud to someone else's phone are two things I would say puts two strikes against the product. The third thing, hygiene. I don't know how many people would be comfortable taking someone's earbud who was in their ear and putting it in their ear. Uh, my friends, at least, as they were looking at it, they were like, whoa, dude, you know, do you have earwax on this? Where has this been? They're you know, just joking. But in reality, you have to ask yourself, how many people would be comfortable with taking someone else's earbud and putting it in their ear? I don't know many that would. So that, from a practicality perspective, kind of throws this off a little bit. Uh, so those are some of my um, highlights when it comes to usability. I find that it worked better in my experience than Google, the Google Translate implementation with the Google Buds. But I'm concerned about the app, the pairing, and then actually giving someone an earpiece that they may not want to wear. So this concludes my review and initial impressions of the Waverly Labs Pilot earpiece translators. Subscribe to our channel so that you can help us grow and also get notified of new videos like this as they become available. Uh, let me know what you think. If you would put someone else's earbud or earpiece in your ear and do you think that, that my findings and just overall usability are too harsh or am I spot on? What do you think? Leave it in the comment area below. Thanks for watching.